A New Untold Story, episode 274, happened in the blink of an eye. Kyle, some bad news. Bad, bad news. Tell me the good news first. That would make no sense for the context and where I'm trying to direct this conversation. But there is good news. Yeah. All right, yeah. We lost dude wipes. (laughs) (laughs) What do you mean we lost dude wipes? We lost them. I know where mine is. No, 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 no. The in, I know where the x-ray inventory is. No, no, no. I'm going to need you to flush. No, you should not flush them. I'm going to need you to throw them away because we lost them. We lost Dude Wipes as a sponsor for the third or second time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Are you serious? Yeah. They were a presenting sponsor. That's right. And they weren't. And then they weren't. And but, then that's when we were on that big toilet paper kick. And then when they weren't, it was so hard to... To like keep praising them, yeah, and we managed. We did. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I, you, I feel like you think I'm segueing into a dude wipes app. We lost. They're gone. Oh, we actually yeah. no. Did we? Oh, no, we did, did we really? Yeah. yeah. You've officially stressed How? enough. They said you've stressed enough. Do they have a team? <laughs> How did they go one to one to one to one? What do you mean? Like they had to stop for a reason and then come back for a reason. Yeah. Maybe they saw that. Uh, they had to give a raise react. to their social media manager. We've been nothing but kind to them. And I considered them like brothers. Despite despite the fact that nobody cares about the flavor of something that you don't taste with your mouth. <laughs> That's right. It is something because you're putting directly you into your asshole. you don't have a palate. Mm-hmm. In your rectum. So here, I want to go buy something that I'm going to put my actual shit on. I'm going to rub around the eye of my Mm. ass, and I'm going to pay a lot for it. No, honey. No. (laughs) No, honey. Stick with what works. Give me the angel soft. We're going to stick with what we. (laughs) Because I'm tired of having a wet ass. That's yeah. That's the like. Oh, oh my. Oh, this tastes like mint. Like a mint chill, which is two conflicting things. Mint and chill. Mint is a flavor. Chill is a feeling. Yes. So is it? It's a flavor feeling. Yeah. I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, they're gone. But are you ready for the good news? I just void at my bowels. <laughs> okay. After a hiatus, like uh, a hi- like a you know like a long hiatus. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, I, I want this to to taste good in my ass. <laughs> And I want to get wet <laughs> for the rest of the day. Because once your ass gets wet and you don't have anything dry, it stays wet forever. Remember, you know, like when it's a hot summer day, mm. but not like too hot. Right. Just so enough. you want to get in the inner tube and like, like float around the pool. Yeah. But you don't want to get wet. Right. The pool water is kind of cold anyway. It's like May 30th. Yeah. Yeah. And you know when you get in the you get in the tube and like everything the sun is beating I've down on in, you. I've been in this exact you're, situation. You feel amazing. You're floating around, and then it's slightly deflated. Yes, and your ass and then touches the water. A little bit of your ass mm-hmm. gets in the water. Yeah. Ruined. Ruined. Vibe ruined. Vibe ruined. That's what using dude wipes is like. It penalizes you for yeah. being regular. <laughs> now I'm now I'm like putting on my slacks and I there's a a hint of moisture. <laughs> Yeah. Of dew. Yeah, there's it, it's a hint of dew. Mm-hmm. But now, Kyle, we have Felix Gray's. Felix Gray? Yeah, that's right. Or is it plural? Well, you and I and Owen all will be getting Felix Gray's to represent. The glasses. Felix Gray. Which I've always wanted. We've loved them. Right. I remember, like, I don't think no. we ever talked about it explicitly on the podcast. We've hinted don't, about Don't say feel dicks gay or anything like that. Don't call him that. Who said feel who said feel dicks gay? <laughs> who said feel dicks gay? <laughs> we just got him. Yeah. So we shouldn't we say We didn't that. get no. Don't call them feel dicks gay. <laughs> it's not even funny. They're Felix Gray, their glasses, their sunglasses, their prescription glasses. Yeah. They set out to create eyewear that would improve daily screen time. Then Felix Gray has been on a mission to create a better relationship with tech. Felix Gray lenses filter out 15% more blue light that can make screen time tough on the eyes and disruptive to sleep. And our listeners, and if you're watching us on YouTube, which you should be doing, if you're watching us, that, that YouTube video is projecting out blue light, block some of that. Go to, go to Felix... Felix... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go to felixgrayglasses.com slash story 
You can start off the new year right. Yeah. They have a non-prescription prescription. F-E-L-I-X-G-R-A-Y glasses.com slash S-T-O-R-Y for free shipping, free returns, and free exchange, exchanges. Um, FelixGrayGlasses.com slash store. Okay. What, what is, is this like a collab with the beer? With what? With the beer? Is it a collab? With what beer? Ad? With what beer? Labatt? We don't have Labatt. I thought you were saying like Felix Labatt Blue Light? No, no. It filters out blue light glass. It filters out blue light. Oh, you're boring me. <laughs> I only heard, I, yeah, I was at selective hearing. No, you were trying to think of Field Dicks Gay instead of acid, glasses. You are going to say asses. Are you laughing at Field Dicks Gay? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> who is the fucking twisted genius, the dickhead who came up with that? <laughs> Some sort of monster mm-hmm. that wants this podcast to go down the drain yeah. like a dude wipe before it clogs your plumbing. But, yeah. Because, you know, they think ads disrupt the purity of the podcast. Okay. Who could that be, Kyle? Felix Gray. Felix Gray com slash story. We recommend them. Don't we? Yes. Okay. Let's play the theme song. Felix, Felix Grey Glass. <laughs> we had a live show Friday. Yeah. Did you enjoy yourself? No. <laughs> Why not? No, I'm gl- I'm happy with how it went. I didn't enjoy myself. No? No. Did you? Why? You showed up 15 seconds before it started. I get nervous in front of crowds. But they of were all sub there. Sub 100. I need a, a large audience. They were all there to see you despise that they wanted to see young nikki <laughs> yeah that's fine i don't want to did you hear him perf- chant for me mm-hmm. they, didn't, they didn't there was no nikki ch- okay they were saying oh baby go young nikki <laughs> <laughs> obgyn <laughs> <laughs> that's what everybody said when i was yeah, little, yeah. Oh, baby, oh baby go young nikki OBG. Oh God! No, <laughs> no one said that's that. Good. And there was all they women. Call, you've been called an OBGYN. You dressed like one unintentionally. How do I dress? For Halloween <laughs> in college. How did I unintentionally dress like an OBGYN? You just left your house. You didn't know it was Halloween. Do you think my style was that of an OBGYN? You, you're dressed like the 1975 right now. No, you are. I know. We're dressed kind of exactly <laughs> alike. That's not no, great. No, you're 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 way more of the Maddie Healy than me. Wrong. You're, you're you his I build. Am? You're his height. No, you you're his, his, his build. Color. Oh, no way. He's a short boy. Matty Healy. Build. Build is height. Build, Nick. Build is height. You look, you are the same type of human as, as Matty, Matty Healy. Healy. Yes. You probably covered the night. <laughs> you probably cover girls and chocolate <laughs> in the mirror every night. I cover girls in chocolate syrup <laughs> before, before we fuck. <laughs> You cover their hit, their two hit songs. The, yeah, Solo. they have more hits than that. The sound, the sound is my favorite. Mine too. Perfect. Yeah. All okay. right. Um, I put you onto them because this no, weekend we found out that up. I'm the put on. This prince. is the most put ridiculous. This shit actually pisses me. People even call me pop. No, because I how do you, I invented the term put on prince yes to call me so by definition i am everyone's put on prince no that's not you how are you a put on prince i put people on constantly I'm, no i am you have never put people on you put people off no i don't yes you do no i can be off putting and still put people on to things i'm a volume shooter that's what putting on is nope my putting on batting average is near 100 what have you put people on to One thousand. <laughs> well i put people i put on people to ev- everything to, no, no music you love logos now. I, I put people... No, I don't. Yes. Don't care about it. You them. love fonts. I don't even do the logo sporkle quizzes. I put you onto solid black tees. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you fuck... You were, you were rocking striped. Wrong! Yes, you were. How are you the put on prints? You're nobody dressed fuck, exactly you, like Nobody me. listens to you're vampires pretty, everywhere. You're, you're, no you're, matter how many times you tell people to. I don't even know what that is. Why do I? So you didn't even put me onto that. You didn't even put I me put, onto that. You're dressed exactly like me How? today. You're well, in my uniform. You no, I, Backwards, snapback, I put, solid black I just put people teeth, onto the baby. Sh- everyone's talking about I put them onto Baby Tron, to, you didn't to Rio, to Young OG, TJ to Grindhard Mike. Sopranos. To, to RMC Mike, Grindhard Sopranos. You put people 
you know you know how many you people are put- concurrently watching Sopranos twenty years late right now? Who do you think that's because? Not you. It's because of me, Kyle. The I am the put on Prince. The rewatching, maybe you were put on. Yes, Sopranos. Th- that's even more of a put on. No, it's I not. I put them on so hard. They're like, I'm gonna just rewatch it because he's so good at putting on. I'm putting on. Things. I already know what happens. I'm putting on people watch. to things that they didn't not, know existed. You are the anti put on Prince. How? You can't even put on Prince Fielder's game worn jersey. It's too big. It'd fall to the floor. No, like I would. You it, dropped it. <laughs> no, because do ne- you think the neck holes With too wide? Fucking, How would you put you it on? It would put like on a so- fucking nightgown. You on can't you. even put on socks. <laughs> yes, I can. Yes, your your fucking Ticonderoga calves and ankles. They, you're the first person who's ever sagged Nike Elites. <laughs> your fucking ankles are so skinny. You can't even put on socks. <laughs> That's literally putting on. I'm the put on prince. No. No, I'm. I you. You couldn't even you put on my Prince clothes. Harry's. <laughs> Go ahead. What could I not put on Prince Harry? I'm the put on Prince. You're not even the put on Duke. Do you have anything else to add to that? There's no play on words there. Prince Harry. Was Prince? What was Prince Harry? He's the Duke. Is he a Duke? Yes. The Duke. The Duke of Sussex. You're the Duke of Sus Sex. <laughs> You're the Duke Lacrosse of Sus Sex. You're the. <laughs> I'm the put on. You're, Owen. He's the put on. You're not even the put on. Duke you're not the put on. Sex. You're not even a put on peasant. You're not the put on Earl. Or are you? put on Earl's sweatshirt at an Alpha Phi mixer. Got like 15 seconds into Chum and Neary a hoe. They all flocked. Just can you name the some Earl. things that you put. Have you put me on to anything? What? Have you ever put me onto anything? That doesn't matter. I'm putting everyone else onto things. Am I unputonable? Working at Barstool. Yeah, I put you on I, to I, a career. I, a career? <laughs> you would have been a faceless blogger if I didn't have to ghostwrite that Coke tweet for you. Okay. Semi true. I wrote your you best put, joke. You didn't put I it. Wrote, on, that wasn't even a good joke. Those I wrote. Were, I wrote, wrote like, Saturdays are for the boys in Barry Jam. Yeah, you did write that. You didn't put me onto that. I would never. You came to that. me. You came to me. Hold on, I'm trying to think of an Earl thing. You're right. I was struggling as a web designer for a prestigious university whose Where did cost you of live? living was. I lived above a Panda could, Express. You could only have. What was the Oju thing that happened to you? I dropped Oju down my steps. And what happened? Spilled. And then what? Had to eat the dry sandwich instead of getting a new one. Wow. And you know the sandwich relies on au jus, a French dip. It's still a sandwich. You ate a French dip without au jus. It just becomes a roast beef. That's mm. disgusting. Yeah, the bread was ciabatta, inherently dry. Yeah, and you, what did you drink? Water. I've been putting you onto that. Water? You've been putting me onto water. I drank a gallon cutlet of sand- Cutlet sandwiches. Chuck Naso put me on. And I spread no, the word. No, and the, I have Chuck the. Chuck Naso. I have the told DMs. No, from, I told the entire. Cutlets is the, in my DMs. Sh- cutlets is in, in your, my DMs. They're in your tummy. They're in my DMs. You know, cutlets is in my DMs. They. I put the whole office onto them. They're like, who, who, I, who looked in fly dice? I'm the. I'm the. I'm me. the. I'm the put on prince. You followed me I, to the I'm neighborhood. I'm the Earl of Cutlet Sandwiches. You're the curl of sandwich. What's the curl? Oh no, you participated in the curl of sandwich. It was when you were in. It was sophomore year lacrosse, junior year, strength and conditioning. You couldn't even rep the lightest dumbbell, so they made you <laughs> curl foot-long Italian BMT <laughs> for sets of eight. Show me your notes. You, when, Show me you your fi- notes when you finally got 10, they had to add Parmesan. And <laughs> the, yeah, the, the curl of – there was Italian herbs all over the YMCA floor. <laughs> But you Mickey's got it. ready for a dense monster cheese. <laughs> the curl of sand. <laughs> the curl of sand. Uh, are you happy with yourself with that? <laughs> I remember everyone called it the curl of sandwich. How could I forget? You got 10. You did the Italian BMT for, Shut the for, fuck up. for 10. The meatball for eight. <laughs> um, so I'm the put on put. No, I've put... I put you on to different types of music. You try to put me you on to your music. You did not put me on to any different types of music. You're kidding me? You love Grayscale. You like Bearings. I like Grayscale because of you. I Woo-hoo. like Painkiller Weather. Great song. 
yeah, like I, everyone loves the best song from a popular artist. They're of not any, that popular. Of any genre. They've gotten popular, but I've listened to them way before they were popular. I listened to their live. I, I listened to their live version first. Okay. How does it go? <laughs> what do you mean? How does it go? How does it go? You always you watch the live version. He says, "Go, go, Eagles!" Yeah, and the crowd the Philly. crowd erupts. They're and he's PA like, band. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Did that make you laugh? No, it wasn't funny. But everybody there probably laughed. I hate the way everybody laughs at a lead singer. They have the same like leeway as a priest. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, homilies are the easy. All they have to stand up. all they have to do. Hom- yeah. yeah, all they have to do is say something a little out of character. It's almost harder to say a joke that they do because it's not a joke. Well, how would you even describe it? Like singers are just like I, I don't even I couldn't even do well, it. Singers are at least hot. Yeah, and successful and talented. They're hot priests, and yeah, it's a it's a powerful position. It, Subjective, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, I I'm like I'm older. I inherently put you onto things like without even me knowing. That's what a you followed me to Phi Die. You followed me to Saint Vincent School. Straw man. What's a straw man? It's a type of straw man like argument. A, a logic, argument. It's a type of a logical fallacy. Okay, but like what? What's the fallacy? I then? just love saying straw man whenever someone's <laughs> slightly gaining an edge in a debate. Yeah, but straw man. That doesn't. That does not give you an edge. I'm the put on I prince. I mean, it's not. It's not. I, for, uh, how oh. is it? It's not for us to debate. Because sometimes I I don't like clock. I can't log all my put ons. I coined a term uh, this past weekend. You don't even know what a put on is. You were trying to skip a meal, so you had a zin, and I said zinner time, and that's going to take over the frat world by storm. No, that's going to take over the frat world by storm. PFT's on it. PFT zinner time. Mm. That's no. The fraternities are going to be. It's going to be in a viral TikTok in three days. Zinner time. Oh yeah, Owen. (laughs) Is is anyone going to say zinner time? I. Maybe. <laughs> no. No. Uh huh. No one's gonna say zinner time. You like the way it feels coming out of your mouth. No. There's bet there I can think of a, a better one in ten seconds. Go. Zin wolf hard. <laughs> well yeah. But it's like you're skipping a meal and so you're saying zinner time. But it, it doesn't sound cool. S- cool slang and everything like you that. You think Zin Wolfhard sounds better? It doesn't matter better? how like you're putting a teen boy into your mouth. Zin Wolfhard, but Wolfhard just it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Huckleberry Zin. Wild well, got me walking around like I'm Frankenstein. Zin, yeah, Zin Wolfhard would work. It's cooler than Zin. I bet. Wait a minute. I bet you. I bet you. I bet you. What was I just rapping? Baby Tron. Oh, Who, who'd you get Baby Tron? On. Did you get it from IBM? You don't understand what a put on. Pre- it doesn't matter who put you on to I, them. Maresh put you on to Baby Tron. No, he didn't. Yeah, things can be put on multiple yeah, times. I put it's not, on. You don't go to the original putter yes. on, or you could put something on. It's a kind of like a pyramid scheme. I put on way more people. People come to, to baby people Tron. come to me because they know no I'm the mouthpiece. No one has ever came. They know I'm the mouthpiece, and they know I can get the word out there, and they know people listen. Because you shoot high volume, I don't. If I speak, you could hear a pin drop. Okay, but you don't put people on to anything. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, you are. You're like a very unique guy. I'll give you that. Congrats. Uh, you guys have been burning out that four year strong. What? That's probably your most fo- played song. Ironic, but I've f- they, never I, played that. Wrong. I've never played that. Wrong. Four Year Strong? The band? I I know who they are. I've never listened to them you on, have. My, I on know. my own accord. No, Sh- I... Show me your Spotify. No, I never. Show me your f- Spotify. I'm listening to Labyrinth. What's Labyrinth? I put... I'll bump, look, look at this. This is what a put-on <laughs> is. Guys, go listen to Labyrinth. I'll give you two suggestions. I don't want to overwhelm you like Nick did with Four Year Strong. Two suggestions... Forever and Formula. They're very short songs, sub two minutes. If you like them, let me know. And I guarantee you, they will put you on to other things, to other feelings. Feelings? Yeah. Who put you on to Labyrinth? Was it Maresh? Something low key. Also, side note here. We've before talked about IBM, our Indian buddy Maresh. Mm hmm. If you see Kyle in public with any Indian man, you can't walk up to him and assume they're Maresh. This weekend it happened, and they fire. got lucky because it was Maresh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. But we have other IBs. Yeah. 
a listener, um, I was with Maresh, and she was like, "Are you what I IBM?" In, I don't even was like, is that that's a is that a Nick acronym? <laughs> I don't even know. I didn't even remember. In, yeah. ear, in one ear, out the other. Sure. But yeah, she was like, you're, she recognized a before a she saw spoken you. before ca- she saw a you spoken character. She just saw yeah. an Indian. Yeah. And was like that that could be Nick and because like mm-hmm. he was, I think he was listening to Four Years Strong. I put him onto it. He was yeah. I think he was wearing like an <laughs> Operation Ivy shirt or something. Doing this. Put me onto Headspace. Oh, I could do that. Let oh, me take the fuck, man. Now actually do that. What? Never mind. It was Headspace. It was? Put me on a Headspace. Oh, did you put think it was another one that's the exact same thing that we sometimes get sponsored by? Yeah. Yeah, put them on a Headspace. Why don't, why don't you? Put them on Why, why don't you show me You're, how to do it? I, as like the spearheader of these ad initiatives that we do. You don't need to call it the spearheader. You could just say spearhead. So I'm putting you on to grammar right now. Spearheader is a noun. So as the spearhead. Why would I? Why would I say as the spear? No. Yeah. No. Yeah, as the spearhead. That's the verb. Spearhead is a noun. That's well. That's the verb. But it's also the noun. What would you call the end of a spear? I, I, why would the verb and the noun be the same? You're a spearheader. You spearhead the initiative. I'm the spearhead that we do for ads. I'm the spearhead, uh-huh. and you obviously do a, a good job at putting people on to the different brands that we use because they're always consistent. <laughs> Their retainability rate is so high. <laughs> Yeah. All right, you're getting pretty personal. This is going to fuck so with me. So put people onto Headspace. Luckily, I have Headspace. Which yep. is a good app. <clears throat> mm-hmm. uh, yeah, we can both agree upon that. There's like seven apps that I love, six that I'm okay with, five that I'm indifferent with, four that I hate. What's the four that you hate? Doesn't matter. Headspace is one that I actually love. Yeah, that's right. Because do you ever feel like your mind just doesn't have an off switch? Mm-hmm. Start your year with Headspace, Owen. We say fine when we don't mean it. Fine isn't really an emotion, is it? How many times have you told yourself you're fine when all you've really felt is anger? Too many. Yeah, tell me about it. Headspace is scientifically proven to help manage your feelings and your mental health. However you're, however you're feeling, try Headspace at headspace.com slash story and get one month free of their entire mindfulness library. That's the entire mindfulness library. All right? This is the best Headspace offer available. So go to headspace.com slash story today. Headspace.com slash story. Headspace. That's right. Now, Kyle, how'd you like that? Was my voice calming? People you just want to listen to me. You didn't just People say, just want to listen to me. Agreed. But while you're talking, you're not putting them on. People want to hear you. People love listening to me because I'm a, I'm a human. I'm human. You're a dancer. Mm. Don't do this. Yeah. Don't do this. Why not? It's not black and white. It's, not, bi- it's not binary. Easy. You're a human too. You think everyone is either a human or a dancer? Human or dancer. That's what Brandon Flowers said. Yeah. No article. He it's should be human gay. or dancer. He <laughs> should be. Brandon Flowers, the killers. He should be gay. Yeah. Maybe he is. Sin said, um, he's awkward. Yeah, he is. Reminds me of myself. Why is that? Introverts. How do you know he's But we're extroverts you know on he- stage. Oh, fuck. You were an introvert on stage, and you're an extrovert off stage. He, okay, he's an introvert on stage, but he's still loud, booming, and he's not an introvert. My, he, he's wearing feathers and armor. He does dress like a matador. Yeah, <laughs> he's he's awkward. He's socially awkward. He's an introvert. How do you know? What has he done publicly? He's done a whole solo album. He doesn't even have a personal life tab on his Wikipedia. Do you know that? No. You don't. I put you on. I, I can't it's get past exhausting. this. It's exhausting. I can't get past this. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, I'm going to Wheeling in a couple weekends. Okay. And I'm going to. A, I'm going to what do, are you going to. You're going to. Karaoke. You're going to walk. What do you mean walk? You're going to walk to Generations. Why you're would I walk to Cheddar's? Why would I walk? So you can get the horns, the Nick, and people can scream out, KB, Nick. <laughs> Why would they scream out KB? I don't know. Maybe, no, because everybody that comes up to me, there's like, I love surviving Barstool. That's when you, you were get your that best. I love yeah. the fantasy football podcast. <laughs> yeah. That's why you were kicked off. <laughs> <laughs> I got kicked off that for Stephen Che and Mince. You didn't want to do it. Nah, you're right. But it did kill you when they started 
<laughs> it's only natural. It is only natural. That's okay. Uh, no, uh, we have a karaoke bar at home that only Owen. It only has a uh, the, the rent. Uh, it only has the song "Come On Get Higher" by Matt Nathanson. <laughs> I don't know if it like the CD is scratched and it only has that, but it's a Matt Nathanson karaoke it's bar. The Matt, yeah, that's incredible. Come on, get higher. Loosen my, my lips. lips. Swing your hips. Pull it's a sexy song. And drown me in love. Go ahead. That, all right, we'll all we'll do it. The drown me in love. All right, so you you lead into it. But don't be ironic because it's, an, it's, a, it's a sexy line. Yeah, drown me in love is sexy. So don't try to like say it funny. All right. You ha- we have to try. Okay, go. Start us off. You start me. No, no, you start lines. Come On Get Higher. We'll I, how does it go? Come, come on, on Get high. high. Oh, fuck. I kicked the camera. Is that bad? Uh, no, it looks fun. Yeah. Come on, get higher. Loosen, Loosen my, my lips. lips. With faith and, and desire. desire. Swing, swing, swing your hips. hips. Just to pull, pull me down, down hard. hard. We'll so pull me d- Wait. Loosen your lips. So pull me down hard. And drown me in love. Yeah, your turn. No, 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 no. I thought we were all joining you in on Drown Me in Love. You do it solo. No. Drown me in love. I can't sing like that. Do it. I can't. I don't sing. Owen. That for, that that live show where everybody was singing the songs we played was a kind of a nightmare Drown for me. me you hate that. Yeah. What it sucks. <laughs> yeah. You just gotta like <laughs> it does suck, but you have to like you got to reach a point where, like, yeah, music is fun. But it, it, they were all singing, but then I had a microphone. That's a whole other element. I don't know if you have you ever. Has Nick but, ever sang? No. He's never I've sang. I've never heard you sing. No, I've never sang. Never will. No, he hasn't. I never have, never will. I'm trying to think. Not about even, I've even heard you hum. He's no. never even sang along to a song. No, I don't. When we were doing one headlight, watch the clip. I wasn't singing. Huh. So what do you do at concerts? I mosh pit. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. I don't wear my glasses to shows. <laughs> okay. No, nah, I don't mosh pit. <laughs> I just stand <laughs> off to the side and cross my arms. You don't enjoy it. I I don't enjoy what? Concerts, then. I don't think I do. You don't? No, you don't. No. Do you even you like... You, you drug me to one my first weekend in New York City. I drug... Did not... I failed at drugging you. You failed at drugging yourself. I did. You tried to parachute Molly in a paper towel, and you choked on it on the way down. How every every episode comes back to me doing Molly. Did we talk about that last episode? I don't know. There's so many examples. My mom tells me every time. (laughs) Does she listen to this? Yeah. It's the one thing my mom doesn't listen to. She listens to this and she watches Weeds on HBO and they had one episode where the kid does ecstasy and they're like, it's the equivalent of a taking an ice cream scoop out of your brain. Is it really? So that's stuck in And her you've head. done that a lot. Mm-hmm. That, no, that was the metaphor. And you pressured you, me into doing it. You, really? Mm-hmm. Did you like it? Mm-mm. Oh, man. Sorry, Jonette. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kidding, Mrs. Bauer. Call her Jonette. Jonette? Yeah. Mm. No, she's nice. She just she wants the best for you. What did you say? I remember we did, a, we did a Rediscovering America video in New England. And there was a line you had because she quoted it back to me. She, she likes you. She thinks you're good for me, a good partner. Yeah, I've really Fun, gotten you out of your funny show. Funny guy. Yeah, yeah I've gotten you she out of your show. Appreciates what you've done. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've turned you into a human On paper. Being. And you had a you had a quote, and I if we could overlay it, that would be all right. No, yeah. Or I can just find it myself. Did she see I'll that? Put it in. In, uh, I'll yeah, put it in I right. Actually, I can yeah here. Yeah, I made a joke. You asked. What did you ask me? Because we, we were on we were on sea, so we were all thinking nautically. I said, if you had a boat, what would you name it? And I and I really thought, and that you didn't even let me think because that's an important decision. Yeah, naming a boat. Yeah, mm-hmm. because it's like a very expensive, significant investment. It's a huge part of your yeah. life. So it's naming like a- that's like bigger than naming anything. Yeah. So I was thinking. I was thinking of my interests, my disinterests. My personality traits. And what did you... You cut me off and what did you say? I said, well, what's your you mom's s- name? And I told you. Yeah. And it's I a said, unique name. Yeah. And I thought you knew, too. I did. And then what? Coincident- you let, coincidentally. Well, you, you, then you told me what you would name your boat. Yeah. And what'd you say? I said, Jonah's pussy. Jonah's pussy. 
and why? What was the the dynamics of your? What was the boat like? It was a tiny little craft. It was a tiny little. Po- <laughs> <laughs> but it was coincidence. I just chose. I chose a woman's name, and you saying your mom's name. It was the. It was fresh in my mind. It was recency. What bias. do you mean by a tiny little boat? Like a pedal boat? No. Like was, a raft? No. It was. It was. It was. It was like a it canoe. Was, it was a seaworthy craft. A kayak. No. One with a motor. Yeah. Then tell me the tell me the exact size of the boat. It was probably uh, so I could tell my mom. Probably thirty foot boat. Nick's. I'm saying Nick's naming his boat. She saw that video. She yeah, saw she it. Saw it now she saw it. What did she say? What she she's like you guys, especially Nick. You're funny on your own. You don't have to be that explicit. We do. We do. Mm. Yeah. And we're not. We're not funny. We need. <laughs> We need to. I mean, today on I I have been so unable to make jokes. I faked an ingrown toenail, just to. <laughs> you did fake it. Yeah, just you to were put digging up for nothing. Yeah, just to put up with. Uh, and here, the I stress, think you the got the a pedicure it. before it because you. It was like Nick is gonna. They like, were soft. Mm-hmm. Nick no is gonna. This yeah. is this big thing. Nick's gonna like just remove an ingrown toenail with scalpels and medical equipment on the yak live yeah. everyone's like ooh gross that's gonna be the most disgusting thing ever you reveal your foot it's perfect no it, it was actually ingrown um but yeah, you were in pain i was in a lot of pain but i would rather do that than try to think of a joke because i've just run out <clears throat> and yeah. people are digging into my foot and i'm just in there being naturally in pain and that's everybody's it. like nick's hilarious man people were like that's, the, f- that's was- people were like that's the funniest episode and that's the funniest you've ever been. Yeah. And it feels bad. Yeah. But good. Because it was a freebie day for me. Right. No, I think it's a All I had to do was be advantage. me. And that was just a man in pain. Mm. And they were just like, wow, Nick was otherworldly funny today. Yeah. Only he, only he would hurt when somebody who's never done surgery is digging into his body. Yeah. I mean, it was funny. I guess, yeah. So I... Yeah, it's either we're explicit or harm ourselves. And that's all those videos have been. Yeah. People are like the the funny. They're like, I listen to your podcasts. I like your stuff. Kind of. I like your stuff. When you wrestled that alligator, <laughs> I was on the floor. Yeah. when that, You got to do that again. When the floor of that porta potty came out when you guys were going yeah. 40 or, miles yeah, an th- hour. That was the f- their I favorite thing. I pissed myself. Thing. Any well, anybody could have done yes. That. Anybody and that's, could have then done I have that realization. Like the funniest I've ever been, the top five times were things that you could have replaced me with any human, yep. and the same thing would have happened. Um, the highlights are KB pierced his own ear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know we it, wrecked the outhouse. Yeah, um, they stuck their hands in a cow's ass. Yeah. Anybody could do foul. it. Anybody. Foul. Anybody could do it. That was foul. That was the first thing we did on that trip. Mm-hmm. We That was our f- the first sponsored trip. We get there, and it just smells like shit. And I had that rental mink coat, and that thing trapped smell. So I smelled like fucking ass for that whole week. Mm-hmm. That was hell. And did it was you freezing. Smell, did you smell like fucking ass? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, because it wasn't ass, but it was it was like, you know... A fucked ass. Yeah. So it was a little bit air, more air flow, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. KB, I want to grab a drink. When I get back, the HelloFresh ad better be done. Okay. Do you <clears throat> need a drink? No, I'm good. Owen. I'm good. Put me on, Kyle. He's been gay lately. He has been. He he's so bad at put between you and me. He's so bad at putting on. Oh my god. He can't even put me on to like being independent from him and advancing my career as an individual. <laughs> like I had the he gave me the opportunity to like do the ad on my own, be myself, yeah. flex my own like unique personality traits and ability to read ads. And he can't. I still am not gonna he's do that. He's incapable. No. He, he doesn't put me on to shit. He do- no the thing is like he is a very very funny guy, mm-hmm. extremely talented in like intelligent as hell. He's never persuaded me to do anything. He's no. never persuaded. 
He's he, biblically. He's unique. good at like acting independently. Mm-hmm. He can't affect others. But you know what, Ken? HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipe. Uh, I don't really feel like doing this. Not let him do it. We'll just wait for him. Yeah. He fits so many words onto such a small sheet. Mm. All right. Done. Perfect timing. How yep. Did, how did perfect. No, we're perfect timing. You were but just about to get into that that Hello Fresh ad. What? Yeah. <laughs> we Correct kept, me if I'm wrong. You, t- on the you curl tried to encourage me to do this ad. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't. No, you didn't. It would probably be good for me to like start doing ads by myself. Yeah, probably. Start talking more on my own. Yeah. Well, but you still couldn't persuade me to do that. I could put you on. I wonder, I wonder why. I'm... Um, like that would like that would be nothing but advantageous f- to me, and I still didn't do it. Why didn't you? Is this to, I, is it? Are you rebelling? Is this to prove a point? I just didn't. I didn't feel like it. <laughs> you didn't persuade. You didn't put me on. I I shouldn't have to put you on for that. That's not something I should have to put you on to. That that I I just gave you a rookie mode put on attempt, and you failed. <laughs> well, I'm not doing it. That was so easy of a put on, and you still couldn't unlock it. You're shooting yourself in the foot. You're not only are you not the put on prince. You're, you're letting other you're men disagreeable. dissect your foot and give you an in, a, an inevitable infection. Yeah, yeah, it's hurting really bad. Um, it, luckily, I, I get to go home and have it. a delicious dinner. Look at that. I'm, am I the only adult in the fucking room? Am I? No. Kyle? If anyone even... Is, I, don't, don't, do, don't use Zinner, ironically. Just let's see if anyone ever uses it. <laughs> Sometimes I don't want nicotine for dinner. Sometimes I skip Zinner. Sometimes I skip Zinner time. You cut the three milligram in half because it makes you nauseous, thinking like just decreasing the size <laughs> would, would also decrease the, the potency. So you've never done Zinner time. I hate. I didn't even finish it. You said Zinner. I said Zinner. <laughs> Zinner sucks. Zinner rules. It sounds like a, the last name of a kid named Tyler with a mohawk. Yeah, it does. Tyler Zinner. <laughs> he played baseball, but not yeah. like good. He was a little too punk to he play. The, the, yeah, he was just fast, real fast, yeah. but like not in like an athletic way. No, like he ran weird, but it was he, fast. Did, he could not be fast in sports, but he was fast when you were like we're playing. Playing what? Playing what, Kyle? I couldn't think of the word tag. (laughs) I was like, what the fuck is the name of that? (laughs) What were some of the options that were running through? Rundown. Nothing but... The rundown, man. You got barstool brain. You got barstool brain. Barstool brain. Got dozen brain. George Zinnerman. George Zinnerman. You like that? That's better than Zinner time. Zinner time. That's going to blow up. Dude, I don't no, know there's going to be some hot, dude. abbed up frat dude in a TikTok that's doing that soon. No one is going to. They, they already have their own thing for. I think they have their own thing for Zen. When, when like when frat dudes are like, they're going to be like Zinner time, and they're going to like ring a dinner bell, like a fake dinner bell. That's going to be like the thing they do with their hands. <laughs> Zinner time. Oh, it's going to explode, dude. And you're going to be fucking pissed. D- no. Oh, it's going to be in the old row store in like a month. No, I was just on the chive. You were just on the chive yeah. when you were supposed to be doing the Hello Fresh ad. You were on the chive. Oh, you thought I was browsing the chive. No, I was featured Ooh. on the chive. I was featured on the chive. I was featured on the chive just now, or yesterday. For what? An old tweet about your parents getting divorced yeah. or something? Yeah. Oh. So old news. Oh, something okay. you fabricated. What were you saying? People are going to like chant about dinner time? No, no. <laughs> it's going to be like they're holding like one of those tr- a, tr- a, a, a triangle, like a dinner bell. <laughs> You think you think college kids are gonna do that? They're not gonna actually have it, but like you know when like like this or like this, it's gonna be the next one. Zinner time. It's gonna blow up. 
Owen? Come on. I remember after WVU to... beat, I forget who they beat, but it was one of the the wins that like everyone was out like burning the couches. Yeah, uh, Baylor you, or Oklahoma State maybe. And uh, I'm Schmacked was there. And oh, I remember. This, yeah, this was. You thought it, like you thought it would be funny to get in the background of like kids like r- drunk kids burning a couch and like burn a leaf with a, a magnifying glass. You like that? Was, like, <laughs> you're like, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that is. That's really funny. It's fake. It's funny. I thought of it myself. No, that's really funny of me. Nick, that's hilarious. Yeah, man. Thanks. Thanks, Kyle. Damn, it is You've funny. always been goofing. Oh, yeah. Forever. Pretty much forever. He put, he might have put you on to making people laugh. <laughs> mm-hmm. You just that is fart. I did. <laughs> that's all you did. I you would fart, fart in... That's that's Dude, what that's what got you started in like trying to do comedy is like no you lo- would, you were loved having I, would, people- I remember whenever someone was playing like guitar on campus or doing like a a song a musical performance I would go up and I would save a fart and fart and then guaranteed laughs uproar and I would and you what's the longest you ever saved when a I, fart when yeah. I saved a fart saved a fart and then I would <laughs> wear crutches in the cafeteria and like purposely like slip and fall. You d- in college? In call, yeah, in like freshman sophomore year, and people would laugh. People, would, yeah, that was the most laughs I've ever gotten in my life. Would you go across campus with the same fart in your ass? How long would you hold a fart in your that's, ass? That's easy to do. <laughs> yeah, but like, I don't think it's the same fart. Like, if you hold a fart, it just kind of it's dissipates. Just, it's funny, yeah. It's not the same fart you're holding all day. No, but like I. When you have a when you have something in your stomach, you know like you can fart at any given moment. Especially when you have Brussels sprouts from HelloFresh. Mm-hmm. Good, bro. Yeah. No, that was just a. I was just speaking. I wasn't trying to. Mm. I'm trying to integrate the fuck out of this thing. You know, pre-portioned ingredient, Brussels sprout meal that they deliver right to your door. Seventy-two percent cheaper than a restaurant. Over sixty-five dollars. You can save over sixty-five dollars a month. That's insane, Kyle. 50 menu and market items to choose from flexibility what's your fit what's your personal experience that you've had with HelloFresh let me just I'm pick gonna, that brand I'm gonna yours. try like an avant-garde style of like doing an ad read yeah 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 I don't use HelloFresh <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> um <laughs> I'm I use Uber Eats twice a day Jesus delivery yeah to the office or my apartment 16, you Uber eat Subway yesterday that you live next $16 door $16 plus delivery fee plus tip. $30 meal. $30 meal twice a day, 60 a day, 60 times 30, $500. I, if I used Uber Eats or if I used HelloFresh, which I will this upcoming month, forthcoming, mm. that's the next month, not the fourth month from now. Yeah. I would save over 60 bucks. So they're being humble. Forthcoming is... <laughs> nah, never mind. <laughs> nah, fourth never mind. Wait, wait, forthcoming. That's my... Nah. Anyways, that was a good personal experience, Kyle. Imagine if you had $500 to pay for rent or internet so you could get out of my hallway. Well, now you can save money by going to HelloFresh.com. Oh, slash story 16 and use code story 16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts what the three gifts are we don't know it's america's number one meal kit 16 free meals i did, did i do the math it's wrong? a week's worth how did i get to 500 dollars you did 60 dollars a day times 30 days in a month it's supposed to be like 180 yeah you got to 500 Wait, 60 somehow. times 30 is <laughs> 1800 You spend $1,800 no, a month? No, no. That's what it is. If I did do that, it would be 1800 You do. You Uber eats a lot. No, no I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> no, that, this is the thing you're most nervous about your mom hearing. Uh, yeah. Which shouldn't clip be a that, thing. Clip that. That's the face when you don't have hello for how I, how I do my job. I have to think in the back of my head. No, I don't. I don't do that. Yeah, you do. I can't admit to doing that and the the mall. Okay. Which one are you picking? Well, I don't do either. <laughs> what would be funnier? <laughs> uh, not speaking of HelloFresh, did you see that guy that 
like tweeted to Dave uh, Portnoy. And he's like, well, if my girlfriend's having sex dreams with yes, celebrity, yes. it better be with the wait. Barstool crew. Wait, wait, wait. That's, oh, wait, wait, wait. That poor broken boy. So the tweet is a screenshot that he got from his girlfriend. Yeah. I had um, a, she said, I had an, this, yeah, read her text. I had an hour long sex dream about stool presidente. That's a sex nap. First of all, <laughs> she, she, like, you can, <laughs> she, like an hour, an hour long sex dream. That's not yeah, long all of for a dream. All of slumber was dedicated to being fucked by him. Yeah, I don't. No, you're ro- the opposite. Ha, 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 Dave Portnoy. Then, yep. Uh, Imagine your girl. I know. Oh. Say it. All right. She said, I just had an hour long sex stream about Stool Presidente. And then I've been having so many sex all dreams. Caps. It's unreal. This is what she said to her boyfriend. Her boyfriend. No, an hour long is a. Oh, that's like the longest dream ever. And dreams, dreams, la- dreams are like thirteen seconds. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what, no, I know. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. She had an hour long. How did she know? That's hard. Um, yeah. Then his he, resp- was, he was stoked on it. He was his ecstatic. response was ha 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 ha. Dave Portnoy, <laughs> and she said, "Yep." He had a huge cock. Oh. <laughs> but and look, then, and then his response is. I'm tweeting this. All lowercase. Like he, like he like owned like, her. Like no, like he won the jackpot. He, like and I. Then got, she said there but, was no penetration. Yeah, <laughs> so there was no penetration. What? How is it a sex dream? Well, what were you doing with that huge cock then? Well, I said hour long sex dream, no penetration. <laughs> well, I then, think she was like trying to save herself in the screenshot. Yeah, probably. In the, yeah, uh, she had to have been. Which doesn't make sense. Um, she, in the caption, he tweeted this. To Dave. Voluntarily. He got that. <laughs> Instead of a triple, I would have killed myself, her, and him. Uh, Dave? Yeah. Yeah. You, like, that's just the mm-hmm. girlfriend, you would have to do the triple. That just, I hate women. That put me off of women so much. Well, I, love, this- I love women's shape and their pussy. But like, <laughs> Dude, yeah. Like if if I ever got close enough with a girl where she could do that, I had an she hour long sex that. dream, and then said who, and then said he had a huge cock, and then he was happy. And then he tweeted this at Dave, and the it says, "Well, if my girlfriend's having sex dreams with celebrities, it better be with the barstool crew." That includes First, the barstool us. crew implies that like it it better have been with. Uh, it could have been with like Spider and yeah. Big T and me yeah. and if his girlfriend's gonna have a sex dream, he wants her to be getting train run on her by rather by than a wealthy, you know, classy celebrity. I want it to be with KB well, No Swag. Yeah. Well, no, Go like, fuck him. Go, yeah, I want my girlfriend I want, I want to fuck my, no, a yeah. smaller <laughs> cock in a smaller <laughs> apartment. And worse sex, worse, worse stroke game. But I get, I get, I get. I would get that. It's all like whatever. Like imagine, like oh, I'd be. F- well, if my girlfriend's having sex dreams with celebrities, it better be with like, with Nick and White Sox Dave. <laughs> I don't know what he's getting at there. Is he? Is does it make him feel better? Ba- I mean, at, I'm trying to justify this. You get an a text, open relationship? Owen, uh, yeah, is he like lobbing that up? Does I don't he want know. This to he, I mean, he doesn't give a fuck. Which means he's they're probably in like what an open relationship that or he's just uh, like a just a cool ass dude. No, he's not. No, nah, he not. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not a cool guy at all. Oh, I was just testing you. <laughs> you could have been convinced that that was a cool move. If like he doesn't care that much, I'd be mad. Don't tell me if you have a sex dream of somebody yeah. who has a huge cock. He, that, like that dude is the most laid back dude ever. Also, I can't. I can. I can never remember my own dreams, and she remembers the size, no. girth, and veins of of Dave's, Dave's cock. cock. Big, yeah. Hour. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah. Well, it's almost worse if she was like. No one's ever had an hour dream about any one particular thing. An hour dream without penetration. So in dream time, that's. Yeah. 12 hours? That's so... Which makes me think that she's lying, which is even worse for Or this guy. some sort yes. of tantric foreplay. She's trying to, like... She's at the last straw of her relationship. She's trying to, like, get him angry. 
And he just and she pulled out the last straw. Yep. And he still he not only did he not he was he was not just okay with it. He was like, I want to sh- tell everyone. Oh, Dave's got to see this. this. It probably broke her. She was trying yes. to start a breakup, and she got like proposed. No, no, she, I think she was. She couldn't even anger she, this man. She wanted him to show an ounce that he cared, yeah. which would make him like the coolest guy. See? She wants him to feel anything toward her. <laughs> he just thought that was funny. Yeah, he, he laughed. Like, he thought that was He hilarious. laughed, and she was like, oh, fuck. She scrambled. And then he probably, like, he probably f- fucked her in her pussy and came inside of her right after that. You think? Without care, yeah. Yeah. She's like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I would hold her. Li- I'd be She dead. probably is, yeah, she's probably, like, attracted to that. There's like a, it's like a horseshoe theory. What's the horseshoe? What's it's one horseshoe. side of the horseshoe? I don't know. I don't even know what that means. Straw man. Yeah. Placebo. <laughs> Murphy's Law. It's Murphy's Law. The greenhouse effect. One of those. <laughs> the greenhouse effect is very obvious what that is. No, you're Mandela affecting yourself. Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm Berenstein Bearing. Shazam starring Sinbad. <laughs> um, Kyle. <laughs> Last ad. We have four ad sets. We're doing really well. Uh, oh, yeah. We trimmed them down. I think after today we trimmed them down. Stand up. Those are bird dogs you're wearing. That's a good, that's a big name sponsor. You're mobile in them. Damn. Do your dance. Can't do those in regular slacks, can you? No, they're actually awesome. Are they? What do you like about them? They fit perfectly. Your legs look fire in them. Yeah. They're comfortable. And they have built in oh, underwear. Yeah. Do you have underwear on? Don't need to. Right, because it's built in. I do, but I don't need to. You doubled to. up, didn't you? Did, You're yeah. probably all yeah, ads. Yeah, That's mm. the thing with bird dogs. You it's can do either or. Mm-hmm. Or you could just lie for the ad, Kyle. You could. Uh, bird Dog. dogs now makes joggers. We, I like the shorts that have the built in underwear, and the underwear has like a pocket in the side for like mitts do, yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, Owen, you have the khakis. Love them. You wore those to a dinner party two days ago? Yeah. Uh, look like khakis, feel like sweats. Best of both worlds. Best of both worlds. You go to birddogs.com and use promo code ANUS, A N U S. They'll throw in a free bird dogs whistle football. <laughs> <laughs> you remember the, nor- the Nerf Vortex Howler footballs that whistle when you throw them? That's that. It's the best for tailgates. That's birddogs.com, promo code ANUS, and boom, a free bird dogs football with a pair of bird dogs. You will not take these things off. Look at Kyle. Stand up one more time. You look really good, man. You're good. Oh, and you put me on to uh, the song Morning Side. Yeah. By Pine. Pine Grove. Pine Grove, yeah. Great song. Mm-hmm. You didn't even tell me. You indirectly did. How, yeah. do you, how do you do it indirectly? I just put it on my story. Which I, me and Owen like that move. Yeah. I love, I, like, that's what I'm most interested. Like, that's what I want you to put on your story. Remember, you talk shit on it. You yeah, like, I did talk shit on it. I've never looked at somebody's story and was like, I'm going to go listen to that song. It works on me. It works. If I respect the person's that's story yeah. I'm watching. All right, I'll, try it. I'll throw a song up. Yeah. I'm afraid to put too many people put on. Put people on. <laughs> the thing is, then I become the less prince, unique. The, the more, put on Prince wouldn't be afraid. The more the I put people the on, the less unique the, 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 I become. The, the put on, put on princes. Well, I'm using a plural. Like it's, a, it's a proper noun. I'm the put on prince. But the put on prince wouldn't care about that. Because he knows that there's going to be a lot of people who aren't put on by what he puts on. Then you're not really the put on prince if there's not That's, a lot. It's put also, on, it doesn't matter about who isn't put on. It's The put on prince also, he's so bu- busy putting other people on, it's hard to put him onto stuff. Mm. Wi-Fi. Quitting Kratom. You put a lot, you, of, you put a lot of kids on I the think Kratom. Dis, I, I was wondering. No, what, you, I you probably did put on wonders prince. for Kratom. Yeah. That's not, is that There's good? There's probably so many people who are like, I have to at least try this now. Are you still doing it? Yeah. Are you actually? Uh, no. This is it's a- at a point where I can't even like, I'm lying because I'm, I'm embarrassed. It's not even funny. <laughs> yeah. You're, are you addicted? No. Are you lying? No. Do you have some on you right now? No. Have, have you done some in the past week? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do some yesterday? Like yesterday, or like does that include like the morning? Yeah, sure. And yeah, <laughs> what, what do you not, mean? Why would it not include the morning? 
Yeah, then yeah. Did you do it today? No. This podcast is... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys are listening.